Hello, Black Sight Tubers, and welcome back. Let's play XCOM 2 Long War 2 with me, Blue Ankylo. So, let's see, where do we go from here? Last episode, we did two missions. One was a super sneaky mission, and one was a cancel a dark event mission. They both went pretty swimmingly. So, uh, probably not too much to do. But autopsy on the way. We've got some more uh, psionics, advanced, some AWC, some uh, officer training all coming through, so that's good stuff. A little bit low on supplies, but we're going to get quite a lot more income this month than previously expected. Uh, now that we're no longer under the dark event for reduced supplies, we're going to start gathering you know, significantly more, uh, which is nice for sure. And uh, hopefully we can nail some of the advent faceless that are in here. It's difficult, but uh, hopefully. So we've only got really three areas spawning missions for us right now. Uh, I'm thinking Brazil, as soon as we do this black site, I'll probably switch it over to some intel. And uh, Africa's getting close. Uh, let's see, how's my intel looking? Probably getting pretty close to the ability to contact a new area as well. We've got some spare contacts free, we've got mostly enough intel. I think I spent, because I had to spend some on a research project, but I already did that. So nothing here... Unless I want a facility lead, at least. Nothing spends intel for research, and uh, we want to focus on those first, I think. Other than that, uh, there's still a couple things to upgrade. I'd like to get the second Scilab once we have some supplies. We have to build the Shadow Chamber one of these days. It's very expensive, though, and we need more power, which means we have to upgrade the power relay. You know, everything needs supplies. We all need more money. So, back to the campaign. We are basically prepping for the Black Sight mission. I think it's worth at least waiting a little bit longer. I'm considering boosting it just to get this done so we can start dropping the avatar progress a bit. But uh, we'll see if any other missions pop up that I, I want to uh, start. All right, well, <laughs> this is uh, part of the fun. Oh, yeah, that could suck. So, so basically, uh, if we lose this, we lose our haven here, and I'm not sure what happens to our mission. So maybe instead of doing Operation Demon Face, maybe I really, like, this is a, well, it's a retaliation mission. It's basically a terror mission of some sort, depending on, there's a few different types in Long War II. Uh, we will definitely do that if we want to save any of our haven soldiers, so... Brazil's going to get knocked down uh, at least a few, I expect. I think maybe we just do this mission right now. Make sure we get this done before we potentially lose everybody. And uh, I think I am just going to boost it. I think we can wait long enough to get it to 200%, which might make it just a tiny bit easier. Uh, we've got recruitment, we've got New Australia. Just got to keep reassigning these people constantly, but uh, it's okay. So we're going to go 6 and 3 for now. Maybe the next one can go back to intel gathering. We've got more AWC abilities. I don't want to send anyone else in there right now. I'm just going to wait a second. Another mission. <laughs> so close! Uh, I mean, a scientist is just not really... I don't care. It's possibly this is a mission we could do, especially with a scientist. Um... Uh, apparently, especially with a shinobi, but it's just a, sh a sh scientist is very low value right now. We do have enough time here, right? Eight hours. Actually, I might not have enough time. This is, this is going up fairly slowly here. Let's just do it. We're not going to get the 200% extra effect, but I don't want to accidentally miss out on this retaliation and completely lose my haven, so... Our contacts in the local resistance I still think eight hours is probably enough, site. but maybe not. The aliens worked hard to keep this place okay, well, we've got two big missions to do. Keep your heads up. One of the bonuses officers. for doing this mission first is this is the squad that has all my good gear. So once this is done, the retaliation mission is instant. So even if these guys are all injured, we can still take their gear and put it on a, a new squad. So we'll have a, you know, a better equipped possible maximum equipped gear for the uh, the retaliation because there's no infiltration that time okay so black site what do we know about black sites it's pretty much always the same map 90 percent the same we need to kill aliens guarding the uh the facility grab a vial and then find an evac point on the opposite side of the map 
generally, I don't think there's any enemy reinforcements until you grab the vial. But I might be wrong on that. So we can we can approach this like a HQ assault, except we don't get rewards, <laughs> and uh, then we have to evac at the end anyway. I would expect some turrets. That's our way out, so we can't just call for evac. We have to we have to keep everybody alive to get out of this. Or well, you know we we have to actually make it to the evac to get everyone. So first off, let's have a quick look at our squad. It's a pretty well equipped squad the way I remember it. So we should be seeing like two points of armor on some people. We've got Anna Volkova for sniping. We've got Sir Renyok for gunner. We've got the Paranoid Platypus for Shinobi with two points of armor. We've got Austin Betadine Jackson for Ranger, two points of armor. We've got Tim Dover on assault. We've got uh, Rick Manley with double rockets. Also Salvo, that's pretty fun. He can fire two rockets in one turn. We got Sylvanus Windrunner for Specialist Officer and a reasonably good leveled officer also, pretty high level. We got Joe Bot on grenades. Now I they're not gonna be plasma grenades and they're not gonna be upgraded grenade launchers. So he's Grenadiers are perhaps one of the lower like they're taking a bit longer to upgrade their secondaries than most people. And uh, that's it. Most people have at least access to their, their secondary upgrades, like better gremlins, better arc throwers, stuff like that. So what's my thinking here? We are not really in a corner. We're kind of against one wall in the middle. The really, really safe bet would be to pull back to here. But maybe semi-aggressive we can move up to this building. Uh, it is a very large map. It's probably, it said, light to moderate. So maybe 25 aliens on the map without counting any reinforcements we might get. And of course, this is an Advent Strength 6 region, which is better than when we started the mission at 8. So, um, expect some fairly stiff resistance, even if the numbers aren't swarming. Lots of birds. Clearly, the birds haven't been scared off. Alright, well, let's get this show on the road. I think we clear the lower floor of this building before we climb up to the top. Hopefully, we don't break any cover here. Our concealment, I guess, I mean. Alright, so we'll have uh, Platypus open that door next turn then. And I think for now we'll just get everybody... You know, there could be enemy patrols all around us, so for now let's just get into cover. Actually, we're going to see somebody right here. That's good though. So we know there's a turret up on this building and at least it won't be able to see our shinobi, you know, from this side. Now there could be another turret. This is a really large building. Maybe not my best choice. Uh, I believe we could try to just disable it or control it and it won't activate, but um, that just gives us like one turn basically. Okay. All right, so Anna, for now, on target position now. stay undercover, Austin, just keeping everyone grouped up for the most part. No need to lose Come concealment on. this early. Alright, so I wouldn't be too upset if we heard an alien sound and we got a direction. It means they're pretty close, but at least we'd know sort of what to angle to put at to put ourselves at. Okay. So looks like this room is pretty empty. We could climb to the second floor. But I don't know where you can really get from the second floor in here. I guess on this side you can get up to this spot. I think what we'll do is just... Um, oh, I sure hope there's no other turrets up here. I think maybe we'll, if we're safest if we stick kind of close to our group. Find out here quick. Alright, so I thought it was fairly safe because we knew this piece of machinery was not a turret. And we knew this one was a turret, so I figured we could probably get up here uh, without triggering it. Now, there could still be a turret along this edge, and I would like to find out without breaking concealment. So let's move a little bit closer. Alright, so I think 
The roof is basically clear other than the turret. Now, I would like to be in this position up here, but I think first we want to get everyone up maybe to this corner. And if there's any aliens, maybe take a an activation on them and get an ambush rather than uh, you know wasting our concealment on a turret. So let's start moving people. Let's let's not be super aggressive. We'll stick to the back side of the uh, the roof for now. Well, unless you're the uh, the assault. Roger that. The turret is really nothing to stress out about, so... Getting it done. It's more just make sure we don't get spotted by it for now, until we're ready. Okay, this should be fine. Got it, moving. You're not gonna move any further. Oh, we saw something, uh... Something down there, just for a second. So we do have an idea of where to look for more enemies. That's good to know. Let's keep people a little bit closer together for a second here. I'm thinking if there's something right there that climbs up, I want to be ready. Getting it done. All right. Always nice when you can get the first two turns without activating a group. Some of these facility type missions, you just don't have any room to move and you just break concealment instantly. Those are no fun. Was that Advent Officer, maybe? I didn't really get a good chance to read it. Alright, so... We've actually kind of blocked some of our motion here. Uh, Platypus can pop over. I wish I knew for sure. Might have been safer to send someone. Wonder if we could get vision from like here through the window or something? I just don't want to put them right by the edge if that breaks our concealment. Okay. Looks like hostiles over that here. was actually a really good decision then, Blue. Good thinking. So now we know where they are, or at least one group is. Who knows how long they've been keeping these storage units Thanks, running Central. down here. But that should mean we can see what tiles up here will be spotted on. So we want to move a little bit more onto the left angle, but still in cover. Hopefully this doesn't cause any problems. On the move. Got eyes on a oh, there's squad. another group. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. That's a lot of aliens there. Okay. Well, we know where a fair number of them are, to be fair. Fair, fair number. Uh, and that was like an Archon, so... <laughs> yeah, no joke. So... I don't really want to put anyone up here that's not got a SMG, because they'll be spotted. Well, let's position ourselves okay. mid-roof. I'm almost, at this point, kind of half expecting them to, uh, to hop up now and, and basically we'll be caught, so... If they patrol away, we might be able to pull off a really good Iron Curtain. If they come towards us, at least we'll have some Overwatches, hopefully. Uh, probably just steady weapon here. I would really like Platypus not to get spotted, though. He doesn't have conceal, so if they do see him, they're they must just be far enough away they can't quite see him. Moving out. But yeah, like he's too valuable to risk losing his concealment this early. On Overwatch. Move a little bit closer. On my way. Overwatch. And uh. I mean, I do have a good chance to, to control the turret if I need to. We could uh, pack it and use it to shoot, say, the Archon or something. That'd be pretty good. And we do have, like, another good option to, like, drop a flashbang on top of them. Like, there's lots of good openers here. Got it covered. So, uh, we'll see what happens next turn. Alright. We've, uh... Unfortunately, I've put myself in the position where I have to once again risk breaking concealment to see them. I don't know. I don't know what they're up to, honestly. Moving to designated coordinates. Okay. 
So we know, I think the two that were here have patrolled this way a little bit. Uh, I expect this group is still where it was before. Or at least somewhere around here. Are they inside the building now? No, the door's still shut. I don't think they would have gone through it without opening it. Maybe it's just a stationary pod right here, honestly. I just... Yeah, there's definitely, yeah, three right there in front of the door. Okay. Uh... How do we deal with this? Honestly, uh, we kill the turret. We can't see any other aliens, so they'll actually have to come towards us. The only one that can see anything is uh, Platypus, and we'll just pull them out of the way. Yeah, they'll have to come up to us so we can get an Overwatch trap. It's not my usual. Let's get Tim out of the way first so I don't you know, activate him, uh, the other group moving over. Alright, uh, well given that I actually kind of want to break concealment here, possibly, should we just go for a control? We could use this. I'm not sure if controlling him will break concealment, but it might, and at least this way we'll have a turret on our side. And we have 100% to control it, so like that's... We could have done it with like a 2%, that's pretty cool. Alright, very good hacking. Alright. Oh. Well. So it gives us vision. But, uh... It's not the kind of vision I want. <laughs> oh, man. So you know there's a group there. That's, uh... That's a lot of Xenos. What would you think about uh, an AoE? And they're all gonna activate. Don't suppose we could sneak a rocket or something crazy. Technically it's possible via trickery. I mean we could hit all of the targets right there. That's the Archon. Oh man, this is... Alright. We know there's a bunch right at the door, right in front of the doorway. We're able to shoot this rocket through a wall. We might as well cheese it. With pleasure. We only hit two. Oh, there was more than two. Anyway, let's see what happens. Well, there's the Archon. Doing trickeries. Yes, yeah, so that was all one group. They've come. They've come up here, huh? So. Interestingly, those groups didn't activate. We could take a shot, or we can just ignore them for a round and try to kill like the Archon and the Snakes, which is clearly the better choice. Now, the Archon is actually the biggest problem here because it can just pop up on any side, and uh, I've managed to get Platypus into a dangerous position. Can't see from here. We have to move and shoot. Heading out. Please just get a crit. I also could have maybe tried a, uh, a point blank there. It's, we still have another action with Rick Manley. That's fun. You know, I uh, maybe should just done that. Let's just do that. Pretty good turn for Rick Manley. That one will burn to death. So we don't have to worry about it. Okay. Uh. And he also gave you a little bit of smoke cover, that's good. So... I... I'm a little bit concerned about what this, uh... What this Archon is gonna do. And I might, I'm worried that everything else is gonna activate as well. I'm worried about a few things. This wasn't really my optimal opener. But, uh, see what happens here. There's still an engineer as well, don't forget. So they activate off of the turret, I guess, but it took a turn. They didn't get they didn't get the activation on the last turn. Yeah. 
I mean, this is good to know. I always thought that hacking a, a, a turret or a drone would activate, but I guess from concealment it doesn't until the next round. Seems to be the probably the rule. But yeah, if they take a couple shots there, that's that's what I want. Fire is a little close there, that's true. So... <laughs> on the, the downside, I don't know where the Archon is. It uh, probably didn't blow up by the truck. Well... Um, blow that up. We don't have a lot of good shots with our turret. Probably uh, destroy... I mean, how much damage do you think blowing that up? would do some damage to the heavy gunner, at least. Or we could just take two shots on the uh, Berserker. We're not going to kill it, but... Uh, we're making it angry, at least. Eh, we do so little damage. Let's just blow up this and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, six damage was more than we were going to get. Plus, laid them on fire, maybe. I think that was a reasonable option. All right, well, I'm thinking uh, hop down and take a look, honestly, because we got to find that Archon. The other option is move to the edge. Could flank some of these guys pretty easily. Berserker. I mean, we can just position kind of at the back here and let them come to us. Because they won't... If we're not on the edge, they can't get vision on us, basically. They'll, they'll probably kill my turret, but... I guess... I'm not sure I'm happy with this strategy. But it is a strategy. You're still in concealment, which is the plan, anyway. I want you a bit better to cover the right side here, Austin. And... Yeah, like I said, I think... Well, you're in, you're in smoke, so it's pretty good to be inside the smoke. And then, uh, sort of pulling back. Sort of like if the Berserker has to run at us, it won't be able to hit anybody, probably. Unless it cheats. They've been known to cheat. You never know, I might even get an Overwatch with a Sniper for once. But, like, the Berserker shouldn't really be able to target anyone unless someone else moves up to give them vision. If they're playing by the same rules we are. The enemies are having a very difficult time shooting that turret. It's kind of hilarious. All right, well, we're wasting our shots on a drone. That's one of the reasons um, Overwatch traps are less valuable. Drones are just really good at completely wasting your entire uh, ammo supply. Well, we got them at least. But yeah, I mean, I think we just took uh, more than half of the squad's Overwatches to kill a relatively useless drone. So now, something like the Archon in... Uh, Oh man, not this again. Well, you guys remember the network tower, right? I really wish that if you killed him, is uh... Don't you dare. You jerk. Are you kidding me? Now they're on fire. So my plan, I think if I end up losing this squad and we have to reload it, <laughs> Because that's, I mean, I'm not just going to lose an entire squad. Um, the lesson is don't try the Overwatch trap. It just doesn't work. Um, we didn't get any shots. The Orcon, the grenade, Grenadier can just light us all on fire from range. It's kind of funny they poisoned him. Like, the turret was fine. That was a good choice. In fact, the turret's tanking for us incredibly well. But, like, the point is, like, the Overwatch trap out of sight just didn't do anything. We killed one drone... And, uh, we still took damage, and we're basically screwed because of the pinions. I mean, I, I get it, you're burning. Just took two damage. So they took, like, a ton of fire damage, and they can't even act now. Um, well, technically they can use a med kit. That sucks. I'm gonna be down, like, two med kit charges... For letting the Grenadier sh Yeah, I'm really not happy with how this opened. So... 
the other problem is the last time they used blazing pinions, the entire roof basically destroy got destroyed. So, like, my sniper can't do anything. I don't know how far away from these explosives we have to get. Yeah, this sucks. I, I don't know what I want to do. This is, this is, this is terrible. So I, I tried to try I, like basically in my 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 story is I tried a different strategy here uh, than what I usually go with and it's proven that I should never change up my plan I should just always go with the same play get into a good position activate one pod from concealment and always have the high ground shooting down don't let them try anything even if you think you're safe none of them just walked up here and got shot other than a drone. Nobody else even gave me the opportunity to overwatch them. Shoot them overwatch. I don't think you can cancel the blazing pinions, so we have to move. I'm still not sure exactly how far you need to move away. I feel like we're going to be stuck, like, running into the corner here, basically. And basically not getting any good shots. So, like, this is another turn where we get nothing. And the enemies continue to, you know, progress. I guess we'll, uh, shoot the big baddie. The turret gets, uh, iron skin. <laughs> Makes it very difficult for the berserker to kill it. So it's got, like, five armor against turrets. Pretty cool. If I didn't have to run for like I I don't like these archons very much. This this ability is is definitely one of the more overpowered ones because he's hard to kill. He's got lots of dodge and stuff, and then he's got this attack that just screws you. Um, dang it, I don't know. What, I really don't know what to do. Like, I guess if we move the shinobi. We can probably put someone in his spot. I'm just going to have him hop over here. I'm not going to be breaking his concealment right now, so for now... Actually, I'm going to be even safer with him. This spot should be two directions cover. Trying to keep him into concealment if I can. I guess I wouldn't mind seeing if there's anything down here. Yeah, long term, I think he still needs... If we're going to win this mission, he needs to be concealed. So, I can move to here. Take a chain shot on the Archon. What's the kind of odds are we looking at for that? 78. Last time we tried that, the gunner failed me hardcore. I'm going. Sir Renyok, are you better than the last gunner? It also probably killed the Berserker, but... Uh, no, I mean, the Archon needs to die. But he's got... 34% dodge, so that gets in the way. Come on, I, I don't want to... Alright, we at least hit him. I don't know how much damage we did, but... Second shot. Uh, so we hit him twice. We did a lot of damage. That was really good. Okay. That made up for the gunner's kind of fail last try. Although that does give him a uh, battle frenzy. What does that give him? I forget what Battle Frenzy does. Uh, an extra action. Oh, is that all? <laughs> so yeah, we don't want him to have three attacks. That's that's pretty scary. So do we just take a shot here and then move further away? Because we can do that. 84%. Even a Graze will kill it. Could he use Walk Fire, maybe? No, I couldn't use Walk Fire and then move, so... Okay, well, we killed it quick enough. Problem is these blazing pinions really screw with me. On the move. This is like the only safe place up here right now. All right, uh, I guess we're fine, other than the fire. <laughs> Not happy about the fire. So I think I'm just gonna let uh, Sylvanas heal herself to get rid of the fire on herself. And then we're going to hide 
behind the wall, basically. So these two basically take a turn off. I hope it's worth it. And it's the same thing with Rick. I wish there was a way to like stop, drop, and roll. Wait, it didn't disable the fire? I thought the medkit was supposed to turn the fire off. So I just here? wasted a medkit. We're gonna take two more damage next turn. Ah, that sucks. I, I thought for sure the, the, the medkit charge cured fire. Where is it? Stabilize. Huh. So there's no way to put out the fire. Once you're on fire, you're just, you're just permanently on fire. Well, permanently. You're, you're on fire for two turns. There's nothing you can do. Not a huge fan of that. Well, Anna has not had a lot of uh, great chances. Probably not going to be flat. Oh, that's not going to be safe. What am I thinking? Alright, well, maybe she'll get a shot without high ground. Basically, have to give up our high ground because of this pinion thing. It would be quite nice to kill the uh, Berserker, so I'm going to take the 71. Of course, we don't get 71. Aim. Now, it has been poisoned, so I mean, maybe we're okay. So, of course, we can't actually shoot a uh, flashbang where I want to. Should have tried to flashbang the engineer before he got a chance. Because he lit us on fire, you know, that's kind of rude, right? Okay. Whatever, we're going to flashbang this turn. <laughs> Mistakes have been made, basically. That's what I'm. Tr that's what I'm just admitting. <laughs> Not my best start to the mission. Hopefully, we can turn it around. The fact that there's like, for a light dash moderate mission, we got three pods all right beside each other. That's kind of rude. So hopefully, nobody took any damage that time. I'm pretty happy I disoriented them. I think that was worth it. They keep trying to kill my turret. I mean, like I said, the turret was the biggest win of all. The fact that they've missed so many shots on him is great. Aw, oh, you killed it. I thought it had like five absorption to Berserker attacks. I don't know how much damage the Berserker did. Also, the Berserker must have had a pretty low percent shot there. It's, like, poisoned and damaged, almost dead. Alright, well, that's what the roof looks like now. I'm glad we moved everybody out of the way. This building structural integrity is looking a little weak. So I did just barely keep those people safe. That sucks. Oh, maybe the... Maybe, uh... So, okay, I think the med kit did remove the flames, it just didn't remove the flame animation. So, you know, count that as yet another, uh, another bug. <laughs> the actual animation for being on fire was not actually put out. Strange, but okay. So at least, uh, like I was, like I was thinking, uh, the medkit does cure fire. So, that's, that's a good start. Okay, so there's a big hole where everybody used to be. So pretty much my high ground trickery is has been ruined. I'm not even very comfortable staying up here. What do we do? We got a berserker that needs to die. We got a snake, probably should die. Another snake, another grenadier, another sergeant. That one's on overwatch. We know there's somebody back there that's half killed. I think we gotta kill the Berserker here. I was hoping that would kill it, but we got kind of a low damage roll. Now, it is still poisoned? Unfortunately, it's enraged, so it gets a lot of mobility anyway. It's got the tactical defense upgrade. So it's gonna be poisoned, but it'll probably just take one damage from that. Can't get a flank here. I just like it seems like it's a waste to use my hail of bullets right now, but maybe not. Well, let's finish it off, I guess. 
And I was hoping we could let it die to poison, but I don't trust it. And now you get a crit. 10%. Thanks. Alright. Well. The the abilities will refresh. We'll be we'll be able to use this again later. At least it's dead. One action, one kill, or one character, one kill. That's kind of what I need this round. All right. So don't forget this guy's on Overwatch. I don't suppose maybe uh, technically we could try to shoot him. I guess miss all of my high ground bonuses. Oh, well, that was a nice graze. I'll take it. It's still up. So now what do we do? Medic only has one action. Rick could move and shoot. We're not going to do a whole lot with him, though. Only got a Sten gun. Get on the door, I guess. So. Try flash. 7%, yeah. He's not still on fire, is he? Oh no, he's, he's got the downgrade because he's taking one damage, so he's got the red fog. Alright, well, I'm not gonna move and use a rocket right now. Alright, then the medic, uh, probably just gonna wait, I guess. Just reload. Gotta keep her safe. Actually, there might have been some good officer abilities I could have used there. That was probably my bad. Got a little bit impatient. So this this is one of those missions, yeah? Technically, you can see the Sidewinder from there. I think we're going to move to full cover. Maybe toss a grenade or something. I'm sure there's somebody over there. We just can't see him. Not a very good grenade. Ah, whatever. Let's just do a little bit of damage. This has been a, a difficult first engagement, so let's just toss some nades over. Got a critical. Look at that. It's totally worth it. And uh, our shinobi is still being sneaky for now. Let's get a little bit of distance there. Keep an eye on the enemies. I mean, for all I know, there's going to be another group. He doesn't have the conceal to, to go back in. And then finally, this is not the turn for run and gun. We'll move a little bit closer, maybe next turn. If they climb up, at least he should have a pretty good shot. Supposedly. Alright, now what? Going to poison us or something? Another status ailment that costs med kits to get rid of? Take a shot. All right, well, twenty percent. You know. I'm taking fire. It's pretty low odds so That's far. All, all right, I think it's just the three left here. So, I'd like to jump in there with like the assault and get some flanks. I need a little bit more security that we're not going to get another group activation, so that's what Platypus is up for. And, like, the more... The more I trust that this is all that's left, the more I'm willing to move in, basically, or hop down and stuff. We have to reload anyway. Rock and roll. 68%. Probably not a lot better for you to do, so. Awesome. Very good job. Our gunner has been on par, or on point, that is the word today. Very on point. Did you see that one? This is it, right? Now he's bragging about it. Typical. Get one good hit, brag about it for days. Can't even really get a vision on the Sidewinder, honestly. Kind of frustrating. So, somebody else. Maybe the sniper? I don't know. I'm not expecting great sniper shots from back here, but 35% again. I mean, I don't know. What else are you going to do right now? Tactical sense. These guys are jerks. Maybe you'll get them. That is 
I just figured it was worth a shot. I don't really want to waste my uh, waste. I don't want to spend my last uh, my last rocket here. Burn through both of our rockets right at the beginning seems a little bit crazy. I guess no. We're not close enough to flesh anyway, so that's not gonna happen. Problem is, if I jump down and move over, uh, they'll get the Overwatch. So we could drop down right here. Uh, they should not get an Overwatch, especially with Lightning Reflexes, anyway. That'll get the Sidewinder dealt with. That won't deal with the Sergeant, though. We could probably command, if we can get Vision. Yeah, okay, that's what we're going to do. This should be a pretty cool trick if it works. Drop down. On the move. Point blank. And then we're going to command, run and gun, and do it again. No overwatch for you. This is kind of banking that there's no other enemies down here. That this sergeant is the last. But I have some options if there's another one, basically. Alright, so we want... You guys have vision on... Probably have vision from here. In fact, we can even move a little bit closer. I guess that'll be okay. Still on fire. Alright, hopefully we can see the assault from here and this will work the way I want it to. I guess I, I, you know, I have combat protocol. That's something, too. Don't forget all these abilities. I just, I suppose one of the difficulties is, uh, as you get later on in the game, you get so many abilities on your characters, um, which is good, uh, especially with officers, but it's hard to remember them all and use them all at the right time. It's easy to forget one, and uh, someone in the comments, I'm sure, will be like, Blue, you could have used this, and it would have worked really well. Wow, even point blank, 85% uh, tactical sense. So uh, we can actually help there. I can handle that. Okay. That should at least drop it or up it by ten percent. No, still got fifteen percent from tact sense. So who's he even able to see here? You can't see him. Sniper can see him. Uh, so it's him, the medic, and the sniper. Dang. Well, I gave him the best chance I could, I guess. 90%. Don't fail me. Good deal. Got that crit. Is that it? The music has not turned off. I think there's still one active. Did you just run through that fire? You fool. But it's okay. Affirmative. Covering now. No problem, boss. Oh, we did find him. There you go. It's heavy gunnery, no doubt. No less. Well, there's nothing the platypus could do, so you just move a little bit closer. Keep scouting. It's fine. Yes, yes, it's full of humans. They're eating people. This entire facility. The aliens are still abducting people. From the looks of it, course they are. That's their favorite thing to do. Self-contained power cells. It could be some kind of stasis system. It's possible at least some of those people might Nah, be they're all dead, Shen. Don't get your hopes up. Wish I had close combat spec. He'd run around the corner and blast them. Ah, please tell me you're not activating. I don't have I don't have the heart for another group right now. I need a minute to recollect. Alright, he's running. Taking the shot. 43 minus 45 is. Well, he must have negative defense or something. Alright. So... Do not activate those guys, is the rule. I'm glad my shinobi's up there, so we know they're there. Let's go with... Right here. Moving. Should be safe, right? Alright. Everything should be dead that we have currently activated. 
So I can at least take a second to breathe. Everyone take a second to breathe. I recommend it. All right. On your order. So maybe for the next group, we stand up here and shoot them to pieces. What do you think? It's time for reloads. Oh, well, you don't need to reload. Um, I would really prefer my sniper to be somewhere where they're taking advantage of all their abilities. Um, tell you what, you can pick that up. I'm trusting you here. I'm trusting you. I like your particle effects. Cool. I think this is the package. Yeah, that's that's what I told you to get. Simple. All right. Looks like the roof is not going to collapse completely. We'll grab that. All right, so, I wonder if I should just split this episode. I probably should take a breather here. We'll do a two-parter for this black site. What am I doing with this? We'll wait to the end of the turn here, see what happens, but... Hit we now. know where the next group is, unless there's a yet another one, but... Advent has expanded their rail network to oh, good. the city center Thanks. they've built. And this looks like the end of the line. End of the line. Area. But uh, yeah, I mean, we know where there is a group. We can use Platypus to find them again next turn if we need to. to Might take like one more turn for setup. And uh, honestly, the moose... You can just stay down there, it's fine. We'll see if they move towards oh, yeah. us. Hopefully they don't activate yet. Yeah, they're coming in towards us. We don't have a whole lot of time. I was hoping to get my sniper. Can I get one more turn maybe to get my sniper in position? Yeah, like I'd like to have the sniper on the edge here with steady weapon and all that, but they're they'll almost assuredly move towards us next round, so we'll maybe open with a rocket. I'll think about it though. That's that's not a bad rocket though. That's probably what we'll do. Anyway, we'll uh we'll talk about that next episode. Yeah, I definitely need a break. That was uh I mean we came through it alright. Don't don't let my negativity get you down. That was a uh an acceptable outcome but uh, yeah that was probably not the right way to start this mission <laughs> we end up spending 45 minutes to deal with the uh, the uh, the greeting yeah. oh boy all right that's it for today thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed and have a great day crazy ankylos